But first, where would we be without jeans? Probably all wearing cords. And for those who like their denims to be a cut above the rest, here's a factory that makes designer jeans. There are 19 different pieces of fabric for each pair. First, they plot out all the different shapes on a computer to make sure they use every inch of denim. The pattern is printed on a huge sheet of paper for the cutters to snip around. All the pieces are coded to make sure an inside pocket doesn't end up getting stitched onto an inside leg. Downstairs, they're piling up the denim ready for the template. They cut between 20 and 40 layers at a time, depending on how thick it is. This lady takes her work very seriously. If the material isn't lying flat, the jeans will be botched. Once it's all straightened out, they put the pattern on top. Then they can get cutting. This cutter might look like an extra from Braveheart, but he's actually wearing the glove for a very good reason, to stop him cutting his fingers off with the compass saw. The cut denim is taken through to a noisy sewing hall where around 300 people make up to 6,000 pairs of jeans a day. They'll use over 6 miles of denim and a staggering 750 miles of thread. That's nearly enough to stretch all the way from London to Madrid. The outer seams on the legs have to be invisible, so they fold both edges over and stitch from the inside. The jeans are handed from station to station, with some 25 people working on any individual pair. Finally, they add the studs. They have to sew the buttons on the old-fashioned way. The needle works complete and is given a once-over from a quality controller. These jeans are going to be given a distressed look. They're inflated and then workers scuff them with sandpaper. It's all done by hand, so every pair is a one-off. When they get washed later, the colour will run from the scuffed areas to make them look worn. Believe it or not, this is actually the most expensive part of production. It takes quite a while to get the lines in the right place, so they look like natural crease lines. The next step in making them look like well-worn classics is chemical treatment. They bleach them with potassium permanganate, which makes the dye fade without damaging the fabric. More durable denim gets a sandblasting. The jeans are fixed to clamps. And then the unit is sealed so that sand isn't flying all over the place. A worker sprays a pair with about a kilo of sand at four bars of pressure. He has to be careful not to spray the same spot for too long or the fabric will be damaged. Last, but perhaps least, there's the stonewash look. 
Apparently, some people think it's still fashionable. To get a stonewash effect, you need stones. 50 kilos of them. The batch goes through a two-hour rinse cycle, and the denim takes a pummeling from the stones, removing some of the color. When it's finished, a worker unloads the giant machine. The jeans and stones are loaded together into a large trolley. They'll be separated at the next stage. As the jeans are tipped out of the trolley, many of the stones are left behind. Those that remain are sieved out through holes in the dryer. All of them are collected and will be reused over and over again. Finally, the jeans get pressed. Again, this is done by inflating them, but this time with steam. And at last, they're finished. Whether they've been distressed, bleached, or even stonewashed, they'll soon be hitting a high street near you.